Pathfinder Kingmaker, welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers. We're back, and we've found, yeah, Shalin's Chosen. Valerie no longer uh, Shalin's Chosen. She now got a gash, and um, we need to bring her back to the capital. We've had that Give fight. Give the order. Well, she had that fight. Mm. And now we need to bring her back, uh, back home. She's not our favorite companion, but it was interesting to get that insight into a story. So let's get back, maybe have a, a couple of encounters on the way. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. In due time. It was said that this was uh, really something we should do right now, or she would go away. Oh look, trophies left at Oleg's trading post. Yeah, that's our whole that's our whole shared stash, right? So <laughs> that's a little bit funny. I'll just go over there. Mm, there's still a lot of things we should we should do. Let's find out. We still need to visit a nymph too, but now let's take it step by step. I don't I don't really like um to stack quests. I don't imagine it works like this. We'll try to avoid the enemies, otherwise we would have so many enemies. Um, and fights. And there are some unavoidable ones. They are far more interesting. That's why we like to have these and not the others. Whoa, what's that? Is that a couple of halflings or dwarves? What is that? A cultist rogue. Oh, the cultists. Interesting, interesting. So, who's first? Emmanuel is first. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, mirror image would be great. Shield. Let's go shield. Shield really helps a lot first. Shield and run. Gaia, um, we could give Magic Fang to Smiley and move a bit. Smiley could even reach the Cultist Fighter. Good stuff. Valerie, yeah, she's really she's the king of. Uh... Wow. Defensive stuffs. Uh, Tristan I should move in. And now we can still do the prayer, which is great. Here we go. Prayer just helps a lot. Wow, what is that? An owl, Albert? Albert? That just killed someone? What the heck? <clears throat> we got a Mary ready. <coughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Can we reach one of them? Not really. We'll just walk Tear in. Them then. Apart! Lindsay. Let's move in a bit and sing. What about that album? Destroyer, you don't belong in the hand lands of the goddess. <coughs> oh, the Albert. Seems quite dangerous. Now we're here. There's a rogue. Easier to hit. And the fighter. But try to attack the rogue. Gaia could buff someone. Yeah, let's give bark skin to Smiley. Smiley will need to tank some. The fighter or the row. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Smiley taking it all out. Wonderful. 
Valerie versus the Albert. Yeah, that would be um, that would be some Let us strike as one. good idea. Hmm, Tristan could. I think we've buffed enough. Um, let's see. Repent. Oh. Hitting that rogue didn't work. Uh, Amiri. Take the rogue out. Good. Good. Lindsay can attack the Albert and will. Serves you right. Smart attack. Wow, oh, took out Smiley. Come on now. Mmm. Emmanuel. Should be way harder to hit than Smiley, but still. You should have run! Ah, oh, good damage. Good damage. Um, Gaia. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Emmanuel will get some more bark skin. Valerie! Christian. You forced my hand. Mm-hmm. Amiri. Good stuff. The Albert's really tough, man. Really, really tough. We're also doing some damage, right? We're also doing some damage. Strike! Another one bites the dust. Stand down. <laughs> With the darts. Oh, Valerie. Oh. Christian. Mm. Mm. We need that here. Heal the living. Okay, I guess we I guess we won. Great stuff. Mm, wow, that were many. Where do they belong to? Cultists. What kinds of cultists? I really like the snow though. Give me a short moment. I, I think if we can maybe make this a little, little bit more beautiful. Eh? Yeah, that looks better. Eh? Hard to tell. I mean, this certainly looks great. Hmm. A little bit lighter. Yeah, now it's perfect for me. Some things are still so dark. Hmm. Share your troubles. Oh, we still got some healing. Now we should be good. A good fight. I really like it. Maybe we should just fight everything. I mean, what's your opinion on that? Fighting everything? We wouldn't have a problem. We're really good at fighting. Maybe then we should do it. Just don't make a lot of fuss about it. Let's let's try fight. Can't hunt in dungeons. Yeah, I know. I know. Running won't help you. Well, these are there more cultists. Seems like they're cultists are like in or something. 
Um, how about we start with the mirror image now? Okay, yeah. Uh, how about Smiley? Mm. Let's give Smiley the box skin. Yeah, we're out of these buffs. Um, maybe now some strength. Lindsay sings her song. Smiley can kind of charge forward. Valerie! Can we charge here? Ah, oh, it's so close. It's so close. Okay, we'll just move. Tristan. Mm. Okay. We're giving everyone the prayer. Emmanuel and we can charge. Wow. Impressive. Okay. Uh, the fighter, the rogue. You offend me. Rogue should be easier to hit theoretically. Call this rogue. Oh, they're all coming in. Amiri versus the rogue? I, I think so. I think so. Ah, let's go all in. Bring it! Yeah! Very nice. Lindsay. And we can move a bit. Any last wishes? Good stuff. Another one bites the dust. Valerie, fighter, fighter. We'll charge over. Nice. Tristan. Mm. I'll try to make this swift. Don't hold on! Wonderful. Yeah. Your time is over. Yeah, that's kind of not great, but hey. This is where I step in. Nice, 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 nice. Charge! Ah! Valerie's really, really cool. So it's come to this. And Tristan. No. Looted out. That's more. I do what I must. I mean, composite bows aren't that bad, eh? Yeah, maybe we'll just do these short fights. Together with buffs, they seem... Mm, like, just li like little distractions. It's fun, it's fun to do them. dum pa dum pa dum -pa. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Oh, uh, wait, we... We could go here. Resources already claimed. Okay, then let's just enter Tusdale. Let's go to the main square. We wanted to talk to Valerie on the main square. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Oh, is it dark outside? I believe it is. Yeah, and then that's when I'm... 
I think I want this lighter a little bit to still see anything. Then it's okay, right at night. All clear, your grace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greetings, Baron. Valery was always standing around here, no? No, 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 actually not. She was here. Right next to the banner. Hilland and Delia. Captain of the Guard North to you. Your Grace. Okay, got to go. Got to go. I have a quiet shift and Hilland. And Valerie. She nods to you cordially. Glad to see you. Hmm. How do you feel? I see your wound hasn't healed yet. Valerie waves off your words with more haste than prudence. Please don't worry about such trifles. I will visit a priest or an alchemist when time permits. As for how I feel, she smiles sourly. It's my pride that suffered most. It seems I must devote more time to training. I'll keep this in mind in the future and not let you down again. I should thank you, Emmanuel Khan. It's important to me that you were at my side. Now I'm sure that I'm finally free from the Order of the Eternal Rose and ready to devote all my time and efforts to our mission. Uh, yeah, you're... hmm. Okay, um... How's your wound? Physically it causes mo me no discomfort whatsoever, so if you're worried it might prevent me from serving you, then you shouldn't be. Okay. You're so eager to follow my orders, why? What do you mean, why? Valerie looks at you in bewilderment. I follow your orders. I've joined your campaign because I have faith in you. I believe your intentions to be noble. The things may not always turn out as you've planned. You're my commander. Your orders are law. It's my duty to follow them. Valerie hesitates for a moment. Well, so long as you don't order me to do something that's absolutely dishonorable, but that would never happen, I hope. Hmm. We'll see. You know you don't have to follow etiquette and maintain good manners while speaking with me, I, if you don't want to. I'm aware of that, Valerie sighs, but I'm sure you understand that I am what I am. That's how I was brought up first by my parents, and then by my mentors in the Order. Besides, I was born to a noble family, Valerie raises her chin proudly, so I rather enjoy the idea that my manner of speech differs a bit from the common language of the peasantry. You just can't imagine how many social climbers have bowed politely the moment I opened my mouth. Hmm. Tell me about the way of Shellen, about her paladins. Shellen is a goddess of love, beauty and art. Her paladins are something like armored artists. That how, that's how they like to think of themselves, at least. She tries to contain her feelings, but her inner contempt bursts forth. They are fanatical defenders of worthless, inartistic paintings and meaningless opuses, if you care to know my opinion. Hmm. Why do you speak with such contempt? She's been trying to ruin my life, Valerie snorts. Shellen, the goddess of everything useless that ever existed in this life. All the beauty in the world, all the art, all the soulful sighs in the moonlight, they'll never feed a single mm. family. And I beg you to restrain yourself from offering your own opinion. Trust me, I've heard everything you can tell me more than once. Nothing and nobody can change my mind. Valerie looks at you. Suspicion. As for Shellin, she's the goddess of idlers. I almost joined her preposterous entourage. I'm just glad I was smart enough to denounce her while I still could. Hmm. What do paladins of Shellin uh, usually do? They wander around, seeking the next pile of garbage. And when they find it, they call it an immortal piece of art and admire it until they are blue in the face. You might not believe this, but the paladins of Shellen aren't allowed to slay their enemies if they beg for mercy. Can you guess why? Because a bandit, rapist or murderer who has been put to the sword will never be able to create something beautiful in the future. So a paladin overpowers her enemy in battle, then inspires him to create a masterpiece. Valerie's face reflects extreme biggest disgust. It might sound hilarious if it weren't true. Plus, all of Sherlin's followers are obliged to practice some sort of art in his or her free time. Every single day, no matter what else is going on, even if you're feeling sick or hungry or sleepy, otherwise, according to the clerics, you lose your connection with your goddess. A preposterous notion, wouldn't you agree? Hmm. hmm. 
So every paladin must practice some kind of art. What did you pursue? Ah, that I used to embroider, and I still do it from time to time. A treasure's blush covers Valerie's cheeks. It's nothing, I assure you. Just a simple task to keep my hands busy and keep the gloomy thoughts at bay. Nothing special. Well, I understand that not every piece of art is good or even decent, but surely there must be at least a few great works among them. Is that what you think? Marie curves an eyebrow, mocking amazement. Many share that delusion. I was deluded too for a while. Now I consider all works of art useless. People create this garbage because they have nothing better to do. The peasant doesn't paint a picture. He plows the earth to feed his family. The soldier has no time for sculpture. He must defend his homeland. But idlers and slackers have plenty of time to waste, though they smear canvases with paint and imagine they've done something worthy and valuable. Valerie shakes her head in disapproval. I see. Let's talk about something else. Well, art has... Well, art has many purposes. Unifying people, working together. Inspiring that... Inspiring that is is something that art can do very well. And to open the minds of people to change and to new things which is necessary to survive, so... Of course there's also useless art. Like... Who cares how a sneaker is designed, right? It's designed to sell. <laughs> Designed to sell. Let's see. Let's talk about something else. I couldn't agree more. If I can be frank, all this talk about Shellen makes me want to spit. My noble upbringing prevents me from performing such an undignified act. Hmm. So are you an atheist? You don't worship any deity. Right, I need no guidance from above. I have my own good conscience. My leader's orders to live by. Hmm. Hmm. I guess you have plenty of suitors. Valerie rolls her eyes. Sadly, you're right to suppose that. Even here in these remote lands, one can find offspring of many noble houses. And all of them consider it their duty to kneel before me, begging me to walk with them in the garden. Valerie's voice overflows with contempt. If words were poison, you'd be dying a horrible death. Oh, and don't forget about the village oafs. They understand the concept of nobility perfectly well, so... They realize they'll be punished if they dare make any advance towards me, so they prefer to stare from a distance, drooling. And believe me, I can very well imagine what they discuss in the taverns. Valerie shivers and jerks her shoulders, as if trying to shed the sticky, disgusting stares. Mm. Should we confront her? I think that could be fun. You know, you really are quite beautiful. You're a reliable friend and a worthy ally, but it would be a crime to ignore your beauty. Valerie gives you a stony look. I sincerely hope your words carry nothing more than mere politeness. <coughs> well, yes, that's what I meant. That is good. Valerie nods. In that case, I thank you for the compliment and would ask that you never bring up the subject again. Okay. Okay, thanks. Let's talk later. As you wish, she bows with dignity. Interesting, interesting. So we've kind of served her. Mm. A mysterious tiefling will be waiting for the Baron at a place called Sorrow Flow. We could also prove our worth. Vanessa! Killing Tusk Cutter and the Hodag. Yeah, the Hodag. Hodag is someone really, really nice. Um, Octavia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Let's have a look around. Do we have some good bows? I mean, we have the composite short bow here, right? Mm. Composite long bow with a mirror.
light crossbows. Uh, we need some good longbow. Really, we need some good longbow. But we'd also like um, to sell a couple of things at the market. Da 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 da. Hey, Virtle. What about your goods? see what we have the adamantine full plate or the mithril full plate wow that would be great right oh that's so good with a low arcade spell failure chance hmm there's a couple of really good things um, let's offer all that we don't need What are these things? Oh well, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know. Let us see. Yeah, we must find we must find sorrow flow, I believe. Um, let's find sorrow flow or the hodag. I think I've seen hints of the hodag um, at the sides, but first let's go to the throne room and see if we can do anything there. We should move. I'm there. Is anything up? Respite? Hello there. Oh, Tristan, Immanuel can't, can't spare me a few minutes. You're the ruler of these lands and I don't dare tell you what to do. But I just can't stand silently and watch what's happening behind your back. There are rumors on the street, streets of a savage goddess. Enraged by your appearance in her lands, they say she cursed you. And now you bring woe and death to everyone around you. This used to be just idle talk. But now, when we are surrounded by so much death and suffering, the people are all ready to truly believe it, and it seems that someone is playing upon your subjects' fears. I saw barkers in the streets telling citizens of a prophet who is building his own kingdom. According to them, the goddess stands ready to grant forgiveness to any who cleanse themselves of the curse. But this cleansing is accomplished through a terribly cruel death. Tristan gulps heavily. These horrific deaths involve a wild beast appearing from inside the body and they think it's a blessing. I didn't say an old man Remus. He also spoke of some goddess. True, Jord told me of that preacher. Who knows, perhaps his words touched people more deeply than anyone imagined. Hmm... What is this kingdom the prophet's building? I only have fragments of conversation. I think it's not a kingdom exactly, more like a community or a cult. I'm afraid that we'll need to find one of their barkers and ask them if we wish to find out more. Hmm, it's absurd and dangerous for the people to consider death a blessing. We must get to the bottom of this. Christian nods enthusiastically. Good! Perhaps after uncovering this mystery, we will find out more about the nature of the curses hanging over the stolen lands. I mean, there must be a reason that these cultists shout about you receiving the goddess punishment. If you wish to understand, we must find one of those barkers and learn from them all we can. Sadly, these street preachers scare quite easily and avoid our guards. I'll begin my search without delay. When you find time, look for me on the streets of the capital. I hope 
that when we meet I will have already found someone who can tell us more about this strange goddess and her followers. Weird things, weird things. The kingdom of the cleansed. What should we do? Uh huh, searching for the cult sparker in the city, okay. Mm hmm. We could follow after him. Well, let's. Let's have a look here first. Yeah, Tristan wants to share something. We had that. There's a nasty rumor spreading. Aha. Uh -huh. We could use that. Let's let's see about the wins. Tristan could do this. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Let's get back into the city. And find out what we'll do to find these barkers. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming for some more capital action. Have a great time until then and see you soon.